Well, hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 14th of August 2021. And it's not actually Saturday. It's Friday the 13th. Um, so tempting fate there. Normally I would be doing this on the Saturday morning. This will probably be released on the Saturday morning. So almost correct. Um, but I'm having a service and an MOT and time is all over the place. So I'm doing it on the Friday, which is probably the better time to do it, except it's not live. I'm at home and there are plastic bags in the background and it's all a bit of a mess. I don't really care. You know, doing the washing as well. So anyway, a look back on weekend in Saturday the 14th of August 2021. High summer. Not really. Anyway, let us start with the word of the week. There could only really be one in Britain, and that's Geronimo, the alpaca with bovine TV. TV? TB. Um, if he was a cow or whatever, then it would have to be euthanized um, because it's a nice, black, furry, loving pet animal. The whole world has gone into meltdown. Why it should be different because it looks better is another matter. Um, I suppose you could say, well, it's family pet. It's a diseased family pet. It could be spreading disease onto other animals. And the best way to finish this is to euthanize it. But of course, it's chaos. Still alive at the moment. There's a song there somewhere if you try hard enough. Anyway, so the word of the week is Geronimo. That's probably wrong, actually. The alpaca. The app of the week, iOS app, camera app, all the usual things, but something that you don't get with a lot of other apps, and that's the ability to imprint the date and time into the photograph. The app is ProCam. The um, developer is really good. Um, the only problem I've had with it is sometimes slow when you go from landscape into portrait and vice versa. The uh, horizontal um, level bar and the um, rule of thirds uh, marks on the grid of the camera viewfinder sometimes don't move as quickly as possible. Apart from that, I love it. Very flexible, lots of different ways that it will work. Um, you can see all the values. You can even imprint, as far as I'm aware, some copyright information. Um, Creative Commons 3, in my case. So that is the app of the week. I can't remember what I paid for it, but sometimes you do just have to pay for these things um, because people need to make a living. And that's good. So anyway, what has happened since last week? Well, last week, you left me in the central bar in Cardiff on level zero, or sort of level zero. I still can't work out how you can have a level zero when you still have restrictions. Shouldn't it be level 0 0.5? But there you go. Anyway, so central bar. Um, no signing in. I still encourage you to sanitize your hands. Um, you could either use the app or go to the bar. You could wear a mask or not wear a mask, which seemed fine. And they had Hazy Jane back in stock, which was very positive. Wandered over in the very, very he heavy rain uh, to Brew Dog, where it was not level zero. Most of the people there had booked in advance. You had to wear a mask. Um, you were encouraged to use the app. Um, however, it was all very friendly. I ended up with the table that I wanted. Well, the booth in the corner. Um, there were some really good beers there, and I staggered out at four o'clock. Slightly the worse for wear and wanting to go back there. It was good. Um, it was very good, in fact. Um, but there you go. Um, I got home 
and the community shield was on. For those of you who don't know, it's the... Is it? I can't remember who it is, but it's two premiership teams. I think it's the winner of the... FA Cup versus the winner of the... Oh, could be wrong. Anyway, Man City versus Leicester. Wonderful football. Not this kicking back and forth and back and forth across the pitch and not going forward. They went forward. It ended up 1-0 to Leicester on penalties, but it could have gone either way. And it was interesting. And it was... An insight into how much I'd missed football. Really good football, not the boring stuff that we get in large competitions where entertainment is not the primary thing to do. And of course, this week, tonight, uh, well, tonight is Friday, um, the FA, not the FA Cup, the Premiership starts. The Dream Teams are back. I'm really pleased. I'm not a great football fan, but it is, is something about it. There's the whole paraphernalia of football. Both Premiership and Championship and European and World. I'm glad. I am really glad. And I enjoyed it, uh, despite the fact I was slightly tiddly. Anyway, moving on to Sunday. Pruning back, well... All the things are growing in the front garden. I've still got tons to do, but um, I'm stuck through with thorns, and ones that break off and are still in my fingers, and I can't get them out, and it's a pain. Um, but I'm amazed how quickly everything has grown, or I should be. Um, however, this week has been wet. Um, there hasn't been, I don't think there's been a day when I've gone out and actually filled a couple of watering cans up most of it it's just rain however had a cucumber um it was huge slightly bitter but really nice and will last me forever and tonight i've had three more tomatoes from the garden and they taste lovely so i've got tons and tons of the green and i'm waiting for them to turn red but usually once one or two go and it's not long before they all go, and you have far too many tomatoes. Better too many than too few. And I can see a lot of salads coming on, to be perfectly honest, because there's still been lettuce from the garden, and um, mint from the garden, and lemon basil from the garden, and potatoes from the garden, and spring onions from the garden, and summer onions. Oh, it's a good time of the year. Really good. Although I must say, slightly disappointed with um, my potatoes. Not the actual taste or whatever, but the size of the potatoes and the amount of each uh, tuba. It was ever thus so. Never mind, um, it's all part of the growing fun, he says. And, talking of weather, rather cold. This morning was foggy. Earlier on in the week, it was rainy. The weather forecast didn't say we would have rain, but we had showers on and off all week, and it was more like September, to be perfectly honest. And it is head like time going into work. Oh, um, summer is over before I feel that it's almost begun. Well, um, well, here's the plan. Can I have an Indian summer, please? That would be very nice. Ooh, talking of very nice things, don't always trust the spoons up. I was in the tumble, you can just wander in, you can leave your check and address if you want to. Um, you don't have to wear a mask if you don't want to, some of the staff do, some of the staff don't. Anyway, I had a quick look through the app. Wasn't much on the app, so I wandered over to the bar just to have a little look-see and spotted in the fridge Clockwork Tangerine by Brewdog, not on the app. And only 149, so suggests to me that it may be slightly past its best or going to past its best. Anyway, it's nice and cold. It tasted lovely. If you can get a look at the fridges in your local spoons, you might see stuff that's not on the app. Just saying. You can't always trust your tech, if at all. Here's a thing that I haven't seen in ages. Um... 
someone came into the office, someone who looked like Lala from Tiki Bar TV. Tiki Bar dot TV at the time was around 2005, 2006. Internet, internet TV. Really funny. Um, and it was of its time. The dot TV is gone, which is probably because of the cost of dot TV domains, but it's now Tiki Bar TV dot com and they are redoing all the episodes and stitching them together and putting them in better quality and Dr. Tiki, Lala and Johnny Johnny and some famous guests like Kevin Rose. A distinct blast from the past. A happy blast. Anyway, um, yesterday, um, part of the office, deep clean and closed due to a COVID-19. It's all okay this morning and I think the general opinion is we've just got to learn to live with it. Uh, most people in the office are double jabbed. Um, it's going to be there. You're going to have to take a chance on it, but you take a chance going into work and coming home from work. He says, remembering when he got rear-ended. Uh, life's not safe. You minimize your risks, but you've got to enjoy yourself as well and get on with things. Talking of that, football's back, a week in work, and then I got a week off. And I just hope Hereford Beer House is back open. Not open this week, but I'm hoping that it is. I'm going to Hereford anyway. Uh, there is the beer in hand and various other pubs and jump on the train and maybe go to the Ludlow Brewery and have some fun. I look forward to maybe an Indian summer. That would be really nice. Anyway, uh, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 14th of August 2021. Thank you for tolerating me to the end. Um, comments as usual, uh, WordPress, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, MeWe, you know, all those sorts of things. Thank you and uh, goodbye.